Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my annual thoughts on my birthday video. As some of you might already know if you follow me on Instagram that I turn 27 in June and as I usually do, I reflect a lot while going through my birthday month and it was no different this time. The only difference is that I'm sharing this video with you a little bit later than I usually do just because I was away on holiday and it took me a lot more time to process what I wanted to process this year. And what I processed and reflected on this year was what I fear the most. And we usually don't think about fear on our birthday. Uh, we don't like to think about negative things during our birthday month but somehow my fears were brought to the forefront during this birthday time and I felt that it was something that I needed to think about and as I reflected on it and thought about it I realized what I fear the most I realized the fear that has been driving me for my entire life and that fear is the fear of not being enough. Now this is the fear that has given me the most anxious moments. This is a fear that drives me every single day and this is the fear that pushes me to find some sort of meaning in my life because if I don't find that meaning I feel as if I'm not good enough and my entire existence is a waste. So you can see how that fear drives my life and affects my life and this time I wanted to face that fear head on and not have it at the back of my mind uh, making me doubt myself and making me make decisions that were not actually beneficial for myself and my life and so this time as I reflected over that fear and as I reflected why I had that fear in the first place I also had a few realizations which I thought I would share with you because I feel that all of us have some sort of version of that exact fear in ourselves within ourselves which makes us behave in certain ways makes us uh, take up opportunities or say no to opportunities this is something that drives many of us and it might not drive you with the same intensity that it drives me but I felt that it's good to share what I'm thinking, what my realizations were with you so that if this is something that you two are going through, if this is something that you two feel in your life that you're not good enough, then this video is going to help you and you can keep watching. My sense of I'm not good enough comes despite the fact that I was raised by a very loving and supporting family and I was surrounded by supportive friends. And so one might think that you shouldn't grow up with that sense of I'm not good enough when everybody around you is telling you otherwise. But somehow my sense of I'm not good enough comes from the belief that my life matters but what if I screw up? And that's a scary thought to me and has always been. If I look back at my life and my earliest memories of reflection and introspection, I have always had that fear because I've always wondered what my purpose was and what if I don't fulfill my purpose? What if I make mistakes and I do things that hinder my purpose? That fear has driven me from the back seat my entire life and this is the first time that I'm actually facing it head on and addressing it and seeing how I can take that fear and use it for my life rather than having it work against me. And so my first realization that came with this reflection was that this feeling isn't going to go away. Now many times we might think that these fears should not exist and we do our best to overcome them and we try to see what it is that we can do to overcome these fears. But what I realized through this entire process was this fear, it's been a part of my life for like forever. It's not going to go away in an instant. And if I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what the root cause of that fear is, of what triggered that feeling in the first place, I think I'll be wasting a lot of my time. So I realized that I just need to accept that it's a part of my life and it's here to stay and it's going to be with me my entire life. The best I can do is actually use it to my own benefit rather than let it hinder me in any way. The second realization that I had about my biggest fear was that 
the best thing you can do when you fear something or when you're afraid of something is to lean into that fear and lean into that space which is outside your comfort zone and that is something that I admire in people because when I notice people who take the most scariest things in their lives and actually walk towards that fear it amazes me and that's something that I learned and that's something that I want to implement in my life is that I have this fear and that fear manifests itself in many ways. It's not just like a single fear like fear of spiders which only arises when you see a spider. This fear of not being enough manifests itself in so many ways like I can be anywhere in the world doing so many different things and I will suddenly start doubting myself just because I feel that I'm not doing enough or that what I'm doing is going to mess things up and that stops me from doing so many things because I'm second guessing myself every time and through all these reflections I realize the moments when I've second guessed myself I've realized when I've doubted myself for no reason at all and I realized that it was in those moments when I felt the fear but still walked towards it when I felt the most alive, when I felt the most accomplished, when I felt the most satisfied with my life because I leaned into the fear. And I think that was one big realization with me this past couple of months that anytime I felt that feeling of inadequacy, that I should not run away from that feeling but run towards it and see what I learned in the process because this fear has stopped me from doing many things. It has. And when I think back on all the things that I could have done, I think um, this fear has stopped me quite a lot. And there have been things that have taken more time because I was dealing with that fear. So I have done certain things, I still have done things, but I could have got there faster if I had the ability to deal with this fear earlier on. And so I am so thankful for this time that I got to reflect on my life and figure out what I need to do to make my life better. That was one of the things that I learned was I need to face my fear head on and lean into it in order to make the most of my life because I cannot spend the rest of my life always doubting myself. Not for the wrong reasons because it's always good to have some kind of fear and uh, which makes you think through things, which is a good fear to have, but you can't be spending your life thinking too much. When you know you're supposed to do something, you just have to step out in faith and you can't keep doubting yourself and you can't keep stalling yourself at every step because it then takes ages to get where you actually have to be. And that's what I've realized in this reflection. That was my second realization. And my third realization was that I need to figure out how to take this fear and utilize it to push me in my life. So one of the things was obviously leaning into my fear and uh, pushing through it. Another thing that I realized was that I need to define what enough is. Now because I always fear that I'm not good enough or I'm not doing enough or I'm not enough I need to define what enough is in my life and then I need to steer myself towards that enough and that enough always will change with time with age with experience with growth but I need to take that time to define in this moment what is my enough what will make me feel as if I am doing enough and again, I need to set realistic goals. I cannot think that only if I do this thing, it's going to be enough. Because again, then I'm setting myself up for failure and setting myself up to fall back into the fear. Because it's too big a target, it's too big a goal. So I need to reflect on right now, what is it that I can do today? What is it that I can do tomorrow? What is it that I can do in this next week that will be enough? And then let that drive my life for the next week. And then I need to think about the next week. And I think that going through it one step at a time makes a whole lot of difference. And it also breaks down 
dreams, desires, goals into doable dreams, doable goals and doable things. And I think that will enable me to not feel so overwhelmed all the time because I am such a person that if I think of the big picture, if I think of the end goal, sometimes it excites me, it makes me happy, it makes me satisfied, content, it makes me driven in life. But sometimes, just sometimes, when this fear creeps in of not being enough, I see that goal, I see that end and it overwhelms me and makes me anxious and uh, this past year I've been more anxious than I've ever been in my life which is really weird because I've never been an anxious person but somehow these, this anxiousness has crept in and that was what made me uh, think about what is it that is making me so fearful in life and I think sometimes when I see the end goal, just sometimes uh, I think I'm not doing enough to reach there and then I kind of self-sabotage and go into a funk which I don't really want to go into now because it wastes a lot of time and so I would rather define my enough for today and do that and define my enough for tomorrow and do that than keep stressing myself out with what the ultimate enough is because Nobody knows what their ultimate enough is. Nobody knows what their ultimate purpose in life is going to be because it changes every single day and we just do what we can with what we have. And so that was my third realization was to define what my enough was on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis and then let that drive my life rather than getting anxious about the ultimate goal that I see in my mind's eye. So these were my realizations and reflections for this birthday. I know it's not a very happy-go-lucky, yay, you're 27 kind of birthday uh, video. It's just a very reflective, subdued video, which I think reflects the time in my life I'm in right now. Is when I'm reflecting a lot, I'm introspecting about certain things, and I'm trying to see what I can do better in my life and what I can improve in my life. And I've always been that person, it's not a new thing for me, but I think this time I'm taking a lot of time to do that. And I am thinking a lot, I'm spending a lot of time figuring that out. And I wanted to share it with you because I know that a lot of people uh, have that fear, especially I think people my age, especially when we see a lot of others doing so many different things, it's very easy to wonder, what am I doing? And I know all of us have had that thought. And I don't I don't even think it's related to age. I think anybody in any age, at any age, might think that that they look and compare yourself to others and wonder they are doing that. What am I doing? And to that I say that spend that time defining what is enough for you at this moment. What is it that you can do that will make you satisfied, that will give your life meaning and do that and don't let any of your fears, whether it is the fear of what other people will say, the fear of failure or the fear of not feeling that you are good enough, hinder you from being your best self. So thank you for watching this video, thank you for spending this time with me and I Thank you for joining me on my journey of life. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do. I'll be talking a lot about self-growth, about community, about our world at large. And so if you want to join me on this journey of discovering myself so that I can be a better member of society, then please subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button down below and also on the bell icon just next to it so that you get notifications on my new videos. It will also be helpful if you like my videos so that I know that you're listening and I know that it's been useful to you.